being said, got the recording going, just wanted to hop into the risk disclaimer. This talk is intended for educational purposes only. It reflects our opinions and is based on our best judgment, but no warranty is given or implied as to their accuracy. Past performance does not guarantee future performance, and no investment or trading advice whatsoever is implied by our commentary, coverage, or charts. That being said, I usually do have a little piece on SPY. Not much to really update here. Still kind of within that range. It, for me, this is starting to get a little messy in terms of how it looks. So I have been, have been looking at ES more. Um, we, are, we are testing, starting to poke out of the top of the range here. I'm sure Mario will have more to say about this. So if you want to go ahead and take it away, Mario. Okay, here we are. So welcome, guys. So this is what's going on. Pretty simple. Look at the spy right here. That's where we are. So I think I posted this morning. Let me, let me find it right here. I had it right here for you. Um, we were looking at the 300. That, that's the main level everybody's watching. You, you see why? Because it's actually the, the 200 MA on SPY. So we have another zone right here, which is 296.75. I post this line right here at 298. Don't ask me why, because I don't know why. I just, I just thought like 296.75, so it may go... 298, which is in the middle of 296 and 300. Okay, so I got lucky, I think. Uh, we, got the, we got the prior reference level of 292.50. That was hit yesterday. So this is what, I'm, this is what, this is what we were just talking, right? Um, it's really hard to trade it right here because either we're thinking we're going to break out over 300 or are we going to test 292? So for me, it's four points to any side. So anywhere, anytime I'm at 296, 297, I'm like, anything goes, right? So I'll take this down, and then we come into the actual spy right here, right? And this is actually what happens today, right? Because I know a lot of you, including me, a lot of us are frustrated with what happened. Yeah, but this is 298, basically, 297, 87, right? So if we just saw what we saw, what I'm talking is like, okay, I'm playing this. They rejected this zone right here, the 297. Gap it down again, and right here, they tested 296.24, right? Which is, by the way, the high of the day. So pretty much they stop everybody that is short. And then at the end of the day, they put a massive drop, which is big. It's uh, four points on SPY. Then I held overnight a partial, right? And then this is the problem that I have this morning. So back again back again over prior day high so how aggressive you want to be it all depends on you right i have that 298 right here so i didn't want to be good be too aggressive i started shorting right here and that paid for a little bit two and then again back in here so basically we have done nothing that's that's the main thing that's the main clue that we can get from the 30 minute chart now if we go to a daily chart uh, it's even a little bit more complicated. We're still dealing with the 300 now. I just moved my green line, which is my goal line. I put a 300 now, 301 actually, 392, because I don't want to be dealing with this thing. I'm, I'm willing to lose the first momentum right here. So what we have, it's I'm going to refer now to the weekly chart, right? The weekly chart, what we're going to see is we're clearing almost – all of this volume right here. So that's the key right here, 301. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be dealing with this mess again, the 300. So waiting for 301 and honestly, I don't know, I don't know where, where, where this, this one's gonna take us, but I was telling Kyle that the more time it passes, the more bullish I get. So if you swing or something, make sure that you have a proper, I mean, a proper, position control like sizing is correct and that you have plenty of time because we don't know exactly what's what this is going to go uh needless to say this is technical analysis it's not prediction um i know a lot of people like to talk about the economy i love to talk about the economy but this is not about it it has nothing to do with that and we don't know where this is going but the markets continue to you know trade at the high because today we close uh in a high for over the last two months. Like if, I think we, we, just, we just continue to go higher. So there's not much we can do besides go long, right? So uh, let's start with the stocks. 
where do we start today? What's fun? Facebook. Let's do the social media go. first. Okay. So for Facebook, what do we have? We have uh, the green line was uh, actually yesterday here over 215. So we were watching that one. We got the news. Something was up because, you know, we saw the volume coming in. But the main thing is like this was the reason why we, I mean, this is the reason why we have alarms, right? So when we were here, you put an alarm right here and you know that you should be looking at Facebook at 2.15. So you put the alarm at 2.15 prior to 2.15. So you know it's about to break. Nothing, nothing fantastic to put it that way regarding the, 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 the pattern, right? It's just a stock going up, pulls back into the moving average and just starts going up, right? So we're looking for the prior high to continue momentum. It did hit 220, which was target one right here. You see it, right? The pivot that we have. And then today, some more news, some more momentum, gap up to new highs is a different trade right there. I, I think I call it this morning. It's going to be a gap play. So if you're long, I mean, what, what is it for you to do? Nothing. Just, just stay with it, right? So that's, that's where we are. I think we're continuing going higher after hours. So that's just continuous strength. I think we can see, um, I got targets at 230 was like, I put a spread two on that one and I went to 30 to 50. So I think 250 should be, should be the next stop, right? Based on what? Uh, I have no idea, to be quite honest. <laughs> you know? No fibs just, on that one? No, no fibs. I don't use them. I don't use them. So what I'm saying is like, we went to 20, 10% is like another 22 points. That's 245. Right, yeah. like that. That's 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 my guesstimate. But if you want me to give you like, like the hint, how I know it's gonna, I have no idea where this was going. So that's what I'm saying. Like I don't even want to watch it. Right? I don't want to be. I don't. I don't want to get shaken out by the thing. So Facebook. Let's 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 go see if we go to fifty, two forty five, two fifty, and nothing else to say. It's just pure momentum. Yeah, I mean, what we don't want to see it is losing 223, right? Which is the breakup from today. So that's like my, basically, I'm going to change this one right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a black one because that'll be my, that'll be my get the heck out, right? And it's going to be around there, 223. That's all. That's all the management I'm gonna be doing on, on Facebook. I don't, I don't think there's much to say, regardless that we have a beautiful B shape recovery. If you look at the, at the weekly chart, it's amazing what, what it just did. I mean, it's so powerful. Of course, there's plenty of news, there's plenty of everything. Look at the B right there. So as always, when you see him make a move like this, you just wish you were a little bit bigger in your position but but I'm, I'm i'm so let's look at the other ones snap let's see if snap can do something similar look at the weekly right here similar right we're not there yet but i like the bullish formation right here I'm gonna have to move the green thing right here so i think i have and i posted this morning 1825 that's what we're looking so let's put it at uh, 1850 right and you want uh same as uh, with Facebook, either the momentum or if they gap it up, which is what they did with Facebook. I don't think this one's gonna go gap up because it's 20 for 18, that's, a, that's like 10% gap up. So we still, we still got some, some leg work to do here, but I like, the, I like the chart, I like the formation. Look at the monthly, monthly is good too. Lots of accumulation looks like right here. So if we go over 1920, make sure you got a piece because target is 23, 24 easily. So it's like we got like 20, 30, 30% more to go and snap. Okay. That, so that's a there's some that one. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it, this one's an intro to swing. And again, for the new guys, the guys, you know, that have, are not too familiar with what I do is like if I enter this one tomorrow, for instance, at 1830 and we close into the 1840s, 19s, I'm going to probably hold some. So I call it like an intro to swing, meaning I'm, I'm willing to keep some of my positions open overnight. 
So for for SNAP, where, where do we stand now? For SNAP, we are looking at the 18, 18, 1850 for confirmation, right? And that's that's a swing, and we should be testing 19. Should give us a. I don't think it's gonna give us too much trouble. That 19, because that was a high on earnings. So once we clear this red bar right here, I think we just did the 18, 1820 bar. I think we good. We should be all right. So you know where this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking at. Sorry. So once we clear that 18, 1840, and this is the 19 on on a on a monthly chart. But I think we should be good. We should be good 18, 19, and then just go for new highs. So 1815 over 19s, and we go for new highs. Look at the other one, which is Twitter. And that one we, we've been watching, and we have the green bar since the last uh, meeting, I think it is. It finally cleared today, so I'm long that one. Uh, looking to continue for strength, going into 33. That was 30 to 33, target one, 10%, almost. I mean, we're, we're like half right there. So for tar, uh, for Twitter, we're already in, I mean, based on the the chart that we're seeing right here, right? Um, I'll be looking to enter, and this is this is interesting because this this one's a little bit behind. Look at this, right? So over 34, over 35 is even better, right? We have a lot of, however, we have a lot of um, action over that. When you go back to the chart of Snap, I don't think it's the same. Let's see the difference right here pretty fast. Yeah, we're over. We just got that 19 right there. And of course, Facebook was totally different, right? Yeah, we just clear 210 and here we go. So for Twitter, I won't get too excited just yet. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, probably you can do some momentum tomorrow, but yeah, rather, you know, rather what, look look to take something into 33, 34. Now, we close over 34, right in May, like we close over 34, 25, 34 and a quarter, that, that'll be my stay with it, and, and let's see where, where it's going to take me, okay? Got it. Okay, so that's the Twitter. So for Twitter, continue into the 200 in May and over 34 in a quarter. Okay, so no more social media, right? What's the other one? The pins. Not about that. Nah, I totally forgot about that one. I think that's 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 more like an IP or recent. IPO. IPO. I think we're yeah. still. I mean, 2250. Yeah, 2250. But I'm not sure. Just. I mean, they. they I mean, they monetize. Uh, they're gonna monetize Instagram and all those stuff. So probably it's gonna. I mean, they may learn something from that. But I, I think it's it's just all gonna be Facebook. So what's the other one? Uh, there was news today in the. Um, Shop. In Spot. Oh, Spotify. Spotify. Uh, this is gone. Yeah, absolutely gone. Yeah. Jeez. Okay. You say shop? Yeah. Okay. Shop, new highs. Mm, volume, a little light, 77%. It's extended the monthly up there, weekly up there. Uh, I think it's just pure momentum. I think we we talked about this one last time, right? And it was pretty much the yeah, same yeah. assessment. Yeah. I think we were here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, that was five, 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 six. Yeah, about this time. So pretty much run, little sideways move here. And now I just, it just remind me of something that is doing something similar to this. So check this out right here and check this other one here. And this is what I wanted to do, hopefully. There you go. Okay. So this one, of course, we're looking to go, I mean, to continue higher. Target again, I have no idea. I'll say at least 10, 15%. Why? I don't know. Last pullback was uh, 
we can measure this one from uh, 2250 to 24. So that's like 200, 250 points, 10%. Mm -hmm. It'll put us at 2750. Um, I got nothing to compare right here, to be honest, guys. And I don't do FIPS. So if anybody wants to do the FIPS, you just go from here to here. Put it right here, and he's gonna give you like 100, 150. I think is the first one, 130 percent. So it's like 30 percent up. So yeah, I like using the length of the range, like you mentioned. Right? Yeah, like symmetry. Right. So I go yeah. like uh, 200 points right there, 220. So I'll probably go 27, 2700. Right. Right. So that'll be like target one. And then the best thing for me, and it's like when, when I'm playing momentum, I just go with the strength, right? So unless I see like, a, I, know, I know some of you guys are familiar with that material. Uh, this guy that says, unless there's a reason to sell it, I don't sell it. So I, that's why I tend not to overmanage when I'm long uh, these things. Like, uh, I'm not trading Amazon intraday because if I start seeing it, I, I start getting scared when I see it. Like, like yesterday that it dropped and, you know, I know people in the room was like, oh my God, Amazon crap. And I'm like, really? I mean, yeah, it dropped 80 points, but it's 2000 bucks. I mean, like, right? So I don't want to, I don't want to be overexcited about, about those, those type of trades. So Amazon, what else we have on, on shopping? We got the shop. We got Amazon. Mm -hmm. Shopping. Okay, Uber. This one is a tough one. It is a tough one. We've been waiting for this one for quite a long time now. So I'm looking at, we definitely out of the base that we were looking here. We're right here at the green bar, which is 34, 44. And... I think we did it, we, we, we exploded a couple days ago on volume, it failed. So now we have a, we have a stop for that one. If you, if you trade in this one, your stop should be 33, right? 33, you're out. Meaning I, I want to negate. Now what I want to do is I want to negate this, this tail. That's all I want to do. So that's going to get negated at 36. So 36 will be my next level to watch on this one. I want to see volume. I want to see everything. Can you buy it before? Of course you can. Okay. It's valid as long as you know that your stop is going to be very tight because at any time you just can start down and, and it goes to 32. So for Still Uber, 40 target. we got uh, target 40, right? That's, that's what we called last time. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So the only thing I'll say is like, I, I raised my stop to 33, you know, 33, 36, 40. That'll be, and again, guys, the, the same, the, the trouble we have in now, I have it on my strings. I have it on my research. I have it everywhere, right? It's easier. Like if I want to tell you what's going to move tomorrow one point, I'm going to put you a, a, a chart of Amazon. I promise it's going to gonna move one point, right? But what I'm trying to say is like, it's, it's really hard to determine how aggressive I want to be at this point, right? With these things that like the market is like right there, it's about to top and then it's not, and it's about to go and then it's not going. So like Uber, yeah, if it shows strength, 36, probably that's going to be the day that the market is going to be running and it closed over 36. We hold it and we go to 40, no problem. Okay. If it's not, I'll take this stop because the market is going to reach the lows. I mean, the lows, no, the, the, the bottom of the chart, the bottom of the, of the range. Range. Yeah. So lift, look at that. It's sideways. Um, I thought it could be a little bit more aggressive, but I think it's going to be the same. I'm going to be probably waiting for 35 to 41 as a trade. Okay. So 35. 241 as a trade and it's pretty much same over 35 to 41 and it doesn't sound like much but that's uh six points which is almost 20 percent 
if you if you get the right options, you're gonna make money on that one. So we got the Amazon, Uber, Lyft, we got the Facebook, SQ. Snap, Twitter, SQ, the payments, Finbis. SQ got an upgrade today, I think it was, or some news. Uh, wow, look at those tails that we negated today. So what is it that we wanna do with SQ here? 83. What is it that we wanna do with SQ here? Yeah, the 83, yeah, that's the momentum. Absolutely, that's, that's the Momo. And I'll play with the 81 stop, like right here. I don't want to get into this tail territory again, which uh, you can see here. You're just wondering why. So I don't want to, uh, this is my stop, basically 81. That will be my stop. Um, 83, play momentum. Um, 85, 87, but... Um, Actually, about that monthly at eighty three. Exactly, I was I, I was I was about to say it. I I I wasn't looking at the monthly. I was looking at the weekly. But let me double check, okay. anyways. But yep, you're right. Once we clear eighty three thirty, I think it's a good shot because it's eighty three eighty seven target one and. Yeah, we can probably hit 90s. Yep, adding it. Absolutely. You're right, man. So SQ. 83 is the aggressive entry on Momo. That that could happen tomorrow, by the way, right? We hold over 85. Which is my intro to swing. And we try to target 90. 90, 95. SQ. Absolutely, yes. Yep. Yeah, I think Got 87. It. Yep, yes, yes. I'm gonna put on number 87, just in case that they gap it up or we missed it or something, I have a second entry. How's the other one doing, the PayPal? Let's see. Oh my God, that, that was beautiful. So this one's lagging actually. I totally forgot about PayPal. We were working this one with 145 calls, couple, actually last week. Oh my God, that's a bullish cap. Some of the guys were talking, right? And this is the reason why, for me, filling the gap is not a strategy, right? Because some gaps don't fill. So like this gap, it's not gonna fill. Like this gap from here, 124 to 125 something, which was high at a time, did not fill. And then we have another one at 139. It didn't fill, comes back. And this is sometimes I, I talk to you about the gift, like uh, one of my old mentors used to call this a gift. So instead of you thinking on shorting right here, what you should be thinking is um, buying. This is a gift because you only have a tight stop right here, 139. So you're getting it on the cheap. That goes for the guys that are also looking to, to short Disney versus 100 instead of buying it and getting a 24% 20 return in a week. The same concept, right? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, total miss. And it changed today, actually. So I think this one, this one goes to the momentum too. Absolutely beautiful 60 minute. Beautiful. Actually, I like this one a lot for tomorrow, guys. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. 152. So for those doing the work, uh, now we have one for tomorrow. PayPal. Got it. Momo. Over 151.10 or whatever we have. At the, uh, it looks like we already make uh, like 151.85. So, but that one's, that one's flat for tomorrow. Maybe that, that's, you know, we have some decent momentum and not too, not too nasty. Uh, oh my God. So that's the gift. Now you know what's, what's the gift. That's a gift. So PayPal, we did the Finbis square. PayPal, what else we have? Let's do it. Let's do the, the rat. Let's do the rat. So, 
I said 100, right? Nice. Support. We said, keep the alarms. We want to buy 100. And this is second entry, 112. And we should be hitting 128. That's 130 and 135 as targets, right? So Disney. And for tomorrow, I'll be playing the high of the day, plain and simple. Here's the other beautiful thing. Here's the other one. That's, that's why we, we, we were like broken records with this one, guys. Mm, look where we are now. We just had this massive retest of 100 a week ago. We put the hammer and then we just gap up and we're over the whole, all of this volume profile right here, right? So the next one we have, ah, I haven't done, I haven't done a single line today. I can't believe it. I can't find my, my, <laughs> that's the reason why. I cannot find, oh, here it is, my annotation tool. So we gotta do it, man. We gotta do it. We gotta do it here. Alligator. Yeah. Okay, here you go. So that's where we're going. 130 at least. And then if we're lucky, we're probably gonna fill the gap in that case, 140. So that, that's one of the gaps that it fills. Um, the strategy is that not to say that the gaps don't fill. It's like it's not it's not a given, it's not always, right? You have to you have to take into context what's going on with the stock and how's the momentum and everything. So yep, we're into the mouth of the alligator with Disney. So we just continue playing momentum, targets 130, those of you that are long, 130, 140. Um, and then we evaluate, because I think the high, high was, yeah, the high was 150. So then we'll see, if, I don't know if they're gonna make new highs. I don't think so, until everything goes back to normal. But at least we recover like some 100% from 79, 140. That's a good target. So that's Disney, um, that I know that pretty much everybody has it. What else? So we go target one, 131. Microsoft. Target 140. Microsoft. So for Microsoft, look at that. Simple. Again, I thought it was going to fail today. And I'll tell you, I was trying to play the, the range. So I thought we, we're probably going to test like uh, 179. I was just playing the short term with the market and everything. If the market goes green line, stays that's the same that we i think we put last week so it's going to be 187.45 trigger okay so 187.50 target 190 and then momo problem with new highs is we're going to have to come up with some way to predict the future that's going to be really hard because at least you know, guys, with TA, basically what I do the most is I look to my left and I look where where they, you know, where where the sellers were, where can I where I can see some volume, some action. But like you see, like Microsoft was like accumulation all the way up 56, then just started an uptrend and then pull back beautifully to the AMA, back and look the pullback to the AMA again, 133, and now back to all time high. So uh I don't know what else to say besides it should go higher. I think Intel was setting up in a way. I don't trade that one, but yeah, it triggered today. It wow. triggered today. That's Intel. And let me just double check something here. Because um, still can go. And we say, yeah, we can probably watch it to 66, this area right here, say right here. So if we can get some momentum, because I like the volume. You, say, you see, it did 125, 21%. And it's still, it was into heavy, I mean, um, oh, contraction, right? This is it. I guess 62, 62, 62, 56. So we're right here. We should have some momentum, enough momentum to go probably 10%.
So trigger was like 62, 10% is like 68. That puts us, it put us around here. So I'll say yes, Intel for a 10% move. I haven't traded this one in a while. I'm just, I'm just making the proper disclosure, okay? Cause um, I don't know how it trades. By the way, Beyond trades horrible. Yeah, wow. Like so bad. And Roku is being a pain too. Gosh. Okay, so Intel, NVIDIA is going to report tomorrow. So pff, what is it? Like, look at that. Look at that. I don't know if anybody's going to take any bets on that one, but I'm not. So, nope. right? Huge run into earnings. Huge. We'll probably see it tomorrow, 370, you know? Just with the market or something, and then they just drop it to 340, 10%. If they did they put it up to 370, I may I may I may do something stupid, but I'll let you know. So you so you can be with the fun. <laughs> something stupid like a butterfly or something like that. You know, just because it's Thursday, so it's gonna be for Friday with one day to expiration. I can probably do that. So NVIDIA. Now that I remember it was one day to expiration, let's talk about Tesla. And uh, nice contraction. Uh, let me see something here because I, I think it's more. They're, 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 nah, nothing. I don't see nothing. I use my early charts. Ah, let me clear this up. Let me clear this up. When I have a lot of the lines, that means that I'm looking at a, trying to make sense out of it. And what's the price right here? 850. So we're on top of this one. Uh, we have a platform actually to work with. Problem is, yeah. um, hmm? you've been watching, right? Yeah, yeah, man. I've been trying to get this one. It's in a wedge right now. This is key. A, 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 not losing 815, 803. It's, that's the thing. It's huge, man. It's huge. You know, the range. So. I'm gonna change that one. I'm gonna remove this one. Let's see with 815 if it puts, look at that. That's where we are. And the 805 that I can get from the market profile, which is the bottom of the right here, um, that's, that's actually the whole month, right? That's what it means. So the whole month of May, this is like where the most volume has been done, 815 to 800. Let me go to, um, the year and for the year we were at 760 and 750 so if the market falls i'm gonna be looking for that one down there yeah and that's that support See, 765 right that, that should be like support so yeah. that's it then at the time we'll make the decision do you want a short right here or you want to buy it and basically we do another disney right so yeah, right here. So basically, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a range, wide range. Um, volume is not suggesting anything, to be quite honest, because uh, reds got negated. We haven't been. Um, eight seventy, but then you probably get a get a better entry at 845, I'll say, you know, just for the Momo. Yep. That's where I'll play it. 845. Okay. Yep. Yep. I'll play it 845. Because I don't want to be chasing. If I'm up 870, I'm I'm not I'm not getting in. I'm probably I promise you. I'm not gonna oh, yeah. I'm, I'm gone not, by then. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be ten percent stop. You know, eight hundred, eight you know, nah. Nah. So yep, let's call it Momo. 8, 845, intra to swing over 8, 8, 870, 900. Not a lot, by the way, for Tesla. So we got the Tesla. AMD. Let's talk about the AMD. Yeah. AMD. Oh, 
Well, this one's going to depend on it's NVIDIA really earnings, too, so volume. it's kind of hard. Yeah, it's going to depend on NVIDIA earnings, too, so it's kind of hard. And this one's a hard one for me to trade. I, I, I see, like, I mean, there's a lot of selling right here at 58, so unless we really clear 58, or you buying the base? I don't see how to how to trade that one. To be honest, fake meat. Beyond really hard too, but this one. I think I need exposure. Um, based on the monthly, we are over that level that I have right here, that level that we have right here, 124, I think we did it. We have the accumulation at 81, 84, so that, that worked. Uh, I see some volume in here over 150, which is, I assume, a psychological level. So sure, is this accumulation? Cover, yeah. yeah, is this, this accumulation, right? We're down to fifteen percent. Oh, what's the, what's the what's the fifteen percent? It's still high, still high. From eighteen last month, I think. Though, so uh, one fifty. Yes, I think that one fifty can do it. Like like today, look look how bad it 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 trades. That's the thing. Like if you chase it and you get trapped, they're gonna drop it on you because it it just moves and it trades horrible. Uh, sometimes I have like a really hard time just trying to get uh, get it, try to get filled and don't think I'm trading 20 contracts right guys I'm, I'm like trading small contracts on this one and it's hard to get to get filled so careful but over 150 I like it I like it so I'm gonna put my alarm over 148 and over 150, that's going to be my like uh, intra to hold, looking to swing something into 180, likely. Okay. Um, Got it. So let's put alarms on beyond. Uh, what's the other one horrible? The other horrible one is Roku. And this is okay. This this is the main idea. I know I was thinking long over 140 it hasn't triggered, almost triggered, and almost got me, right? By a point or something. So it, they didn't get me that day. But here's <laughs> here's what I'm looking. They were close. They were close. Sometimes I just wait for the real trigger. Look at this little it's little so that's what i want the long over 140 we're dealing with this right once we clear i think we can have another run what i was thinking and i know some of the guys are following too is the 114 right or any any kind of weakness especially since i saw Couple, couple red bars, then this one negated, then the big red bar. So I, I was thinking this was going to break, right? <sighs> Problem is the move is to the upside. So basically what I have is something like this, right? I have a move to the upside and then I have all this move right here. It usually, they say, right? So I'm thinking yeah. of some contrarian. Uh, so if you're trading Roku and getting stopped, you with me. And now you understand why. It's in a really hard stop spot. Sorry. So 140, and I understand. Sometimes I also get this thing when I'm like, oh my God, it's just gonna break right here. And it probably will, and it'll be good for one or two points. And then it just comes back like today. <laughs> right? Like today. There you go. That's my stop. Right? It's beautiful, add it, boom, you get stopped. And then if you add it again, you get stopped again. So know the, the big picture, basically. You know, this is what we're dealing. And probably you don't see it as clear on a, on a daily, but if you come to the weekly, you see that the big move was to the upside. And that's when I say, like, and understand the structure and where, where is it that we're coming from. So Roku, what else? 
How about the Chinese? They got hit today, right? And they bounce. Oh, yeah. So Chinese stocks, they got a boost. Uh, Monday, I think it was, they got pop hard, gave us the entry. I didn't take it. We were looking at Baba over 215. I didn't take it, thank God. And then there was, uh, basically, I haven't been that aggressive because of the market, where the market is. And this is what happens. So for Baba, I like the monthly. Look at the monthly. Didn't fall with the COVID much. Put a bottoming tail into all of this volume right here, which is support, confirmed, went back. Now it's triggering with a green bar. The problem is where do we get in? So I'll be looking. Let's make this a bold call. The only way that I'll play it is over 2222, to be honest. We got to clear, clear the drop from today. That was news, right? Yes. I think it was news, some, some economic news and something, but, but that's the thing. You know, that, that's one of, now if we're going back to uh, war stories with China, you, you want to be long uh, Baba? I don't know. It's, it's going to be tricky. The but, news was they're talking about delisting these companies. Unless they can prove that they don't have foreign officials or something like that, right? Yeah, something like that. Could be a play, but it, it would be more like a news play, right? So we got levels. We got the 222, 215, but again, mm, oh, no, 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 no. We got earnings on the 22nd, so forget about Baba. Baidu did report her earnings a couple of days ago, and that, I think that was the, that was the one with the, with the gap up. So that was clear, then got pop, failed. No, I don't want to mess this. I don't want to mess with this. Yeah, Netflix. now my play. Yep, Netflix. So, strong up, one directional move. Strong up, one directional move. Is he getting tired? I don't know. But no we, failed, we failed to make highs right here. Volume is drying and Actually, this is one. This is the one that I shorted today. I think I posted. And uh, all I'm all I'm trading is this range. I'm trading this four 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 sixty to four forty range. That, that's that's what I was thinking, right? So for this one, I'm just gonna move the green bar of the green line to four sixty. When we see it over four sixty, we know it's a it's a confirmation to go long. 460, and then is how aggressive you want to be. That's pretty much the only thing I can say. Because this is a pullback that got bought. We make a high. Is it significant new high? We went 4, 450, and now it's 460. So basically, this thing took from 417, almost a month, to make a new high. And the new high is like 10 points higher, which is nothing because it's 450, so it's like 2% higher. So it's not a significant new high. I'll be looking at that. I'll be looking for retracements and see how we react. If we go over 460, hey, uptrend is in place. Look at the look at the AMA. That's what the one that I use right here. Look at the 20. So all, all, of the, all of the MAs are aligned, so we should be momentum. So this is clear momentum, 660. I mean, 460, and we go, we go long, okay? But don't anticipate. I mean, or be careful and know what, what is it that you're doing, what you're anticipating with this one. So 460, Momo. To where? To new highs. Netflix, Roku, Disney, BA. that's the other one. We, 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 which one? BA, Boeing. Oh my God, I almost forgot about that one. <laughs> uh, that's setting up. That's setting up. I don't know why it's taking so long. So again, this is what we're playing. 138, very aggressive. Close over 140, close over 150, must own over 165. And I'm playing the alligator. I think this is the biggest alligator we have because it's like 100%. 
right? 160 to 320. So even if we don't hit it, if we hit like 50% of that one, I'll be more than happy because that put us like in 240, 260. That's all I'm looking for. News, I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea about aviation. Uh, so I, I know there was actually there was some news today about Boeing saying that the consumer demand, I, I saw something today. So you can expect news anytime. When would I capitulate on Boeing? When we break uh, 88, okay? That's basically when I'll say like, uh, I don't play Boeing long anymore. Otherwise I'm just buying whatever support I can find, okay? And he's been paying. Got it. So same thing with Boeing, over 140, over 160, we must own. That's, that's the thing. And how aggressive would you go, Kyle? Like uh, 220 leaps, 180 leaps, 160 leaps? Yeah, strike is going to be less important than your time on this one. The time, right? Yeah, it's more yeah. time that we got to buy. That's what I was thinking too. I think it's going to be the time. Uh, 50 MA, it's... Um, wow, we're already there. One. 139, but I have it on another chart. I have it at, uh, if someone can confirm, because I got it at 157, the 50 MA. What do you have for 50 MA? Because what I got right here, I'm, I'm going to zoom it in a little bit. Look at the 8 MA is about to cross over the 20 MA over the 50 MA. So we're going to have, we're about to have, I got 136. The, the three moving averages going finally up. And what I'm thinking is they're going to try to find the 200 MA, right? So actually, this is getting pretty, pretty interesting, okay? It's, it may take some time. It may take a couple more days, three days probably, but I think the move might be coming just because of the, look at the MAs now. I like that one. Yeah, put a big start on BA. Probably going to get it soon. What, what's the high for the day? 137, right? That, that's the short term. Yeah. So 138. Oh, you had it today on, on your game plan, right? Yeah, yeah. 138, 1, 140? Yeah. It's just uh, make sure you don't get trapped in a move like yesterday, that they open at 137, they just drop it on you, like for seven points. I think it's going to be clear the day that it's going to break. So 138, 140 for Momo and, and to make some money with BA. What else we have? Tesla, we already talked. Let's talk about the airlines. I saw Love. It's not Love. It's L-U-V. L-U-V. Love. No. Nope. American, American needs uh, 1347. Mm -hmm. um, this is the thing, right? Same with Boeing, the same as with Boeing, betting that he may, he may not disappear. So I wanna be at 14 and I'll be looking for 50% or this is this kind of different alligator. It's probably from the Florida swamps. But anyways, I'll play it. So we got AAL, UAL is the other one. Same pattern. You can play that one too, over 30. Delta, which I heard is the like the best one, right? Based on fundamentals, if anybody knows about fundamentals. Um, oh, I what are those? Ah? Uh, that's a joke. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, remember that? <laughs> That's my major. So I, I, do, I do work with fundamentals a lot. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, 25. I like, I like Delta. I like Delta, guys. I like Delta a little bit. A little bit more. Let's look at that. Look at that. That's, that's that Godzilla mount, man. It's huge. I won't, uh, we don't need to, we don't need to pick the bottom on these ones. 
but I think the bottom was made at 1750. So we're up uh, five points already. Uh, 24, uh, over 24, over 25, 26, and we take it. Yeah, I got I to gotta get into some of this for sure. So the D-A-L, over 2450, over 26. Okay. Jet Blue and all of those. Well, the cruise lines, CCL, Carnival, bottom, same. I got exposure, looking to add exposure over 1650, okay? So I think the play is the same. Uh, I think it's gonna be like Disney, guys. Any day, we're gonna hear some news that, you know, probably uh, cruise lines or cruises are gonna start serving the customers. 1737, based on the monthly chart. Okay. So CCL over 1737, these are longer term. CCL, RCL, Royal Caribbean. Uh, not, not as clean, let me see. Wow, actually cleaner. I like the big green bar that we put on this one. So we're far, we're, we're over, I mean, we're already bounds 100%. Okay, RCL, what else we have? Uber, Uber, Uber we did. Um, oils, anybody still checking oils? USO, look at that, we're going for 30. Um, so entry was 20, hmm, I don't see much in here, guys. What else we have? Eton. Eton, Eton? Piton. Oh, Piton. That thing, oh God. Yeah, that thing left without us. We had it from last meeting, I think. 35, gone. That was where the whole accumulation was right here, guys. This is this is uh, after the fact. This is what we try to do. Time it and get it anywhere around here. So then when the week comes and we see this volume and some formation, because it's not just the volume, you know, you see a volume sometimes it just takes time. So you get whipped and everything. But when you have the confirmation, like taking the high in here, like a 38, even a 38, that's, that's. Yeah, but it was a gap, do. right? I think it, it was, was an a, earnings gap. Yeah, it was a gap. It was a gap, but it, but the gap was like after we had to play the gap. Yeah, forget it. So, okay, now that you bring that up. Um, so this is the gap. This is the earnings gap dropped. And we are at the 46th level again. So we can probably get an entry where would I where would I play this one? Let's say I have to. It's gotta be over fifty, unless you want to play like a long base, like this one. This one we're seeing here in the sixty. You can do some momo damage in here. 46 to 50 and then we'll see if, if we if we continue higher right uh volume is pretty low pretty light like we got 43 percent today so you just got to be careful but over 46 which is today's high and it's a high also for the day of the gap so uh yeah yeah i'll probably take it just thinking that this is this is a range right so if we have a range and I know I have support at 44 and my top is 49. I got two points. So I can probably do one, one stop for a dollar and try to get $3 and then get the more momentum because the momentum is too high. I mean, no doubt about it as, as of now. This might be just profit taking. I mean, these guys were in from the 30s or from the 20s. We don't know. And they just hit 50 bucks. Of course, they're going to take some profits after what they did on, on day of the year. Wow. 
so the the short float came down a lot. It was forty percent. Now it's <laughs> five. From forty to five. Yeah. Yeah, they're probably all bankrupt. <laughs> <laughs> You have to cover, yeah. That looks like it. Yeah, we have this one. Oh my! I totally forgot that that we have the we have the short interest. Oh my god! Okay, forty six to fifty. It's a range. It's a range. I call it a range. Piton, forty six to fifty. If you want to play short, uh, I don't recommend it. But yeah, assume forty two, forty, and then. Close the gap. Peter, oh, what else? What happened to that one? Ugh. Shook me. I like uh, uh, yeah, me too. I like the I like the monthly. I like the monthly. And I like the same entry. 32. I'm just I'm just gonna raise it to 233, 32, 85, 33 to be on the safe side because i think if this one goes is this like uh zoom or something like that is yeah this one is, of those work from home is this is this slack no slack is something else right like the platform like a river slack uh some That's of that slack. It's slack. okay work it's slack right yeah yeah it's slack yeah 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 so it's a lot of competition. I don't know. You, you guys saw that Google has uh, meetings now too on your email. So we can also do the, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be competition, hard competition. So anyways, 33, but to this, to the left, it's just, they, they, they IPO at 37.50. So it's going to be tricky. It's going to be bumpy. 33, you can give it a shot just because we can go 37. So we can go like 10%, right? To IPO price. Yep. Got it. So let's see Zoom. There it is, um, waiting for you guys. Meets volume, man. That's a green line. Yeah. I, I haven't traded this one, to be honest. I'm, I don't like it. I just don't like it. But I like the, I like the last three or four days. At least as far as the candles and location where we are, right? Uh, volume to the low side, six millions of a million. That could be that could be a that could be a momentum at the open. I don't know how it trades at the open though. So disclosure. One seventy five. What is that? One seventy five five on your chart. Yeah, one seventy six. Yeah, one seventy six. Because I think it's gonna go. And then we have pre-market uh, high a couple of days ago, like 177. So you see this one right here? Oh, right. So I'll probably take that into account. I have my line right here, so I'm going to just move it to 177. Let's see how we, because this is one of that I only want to be involved with the day that is really trending, right? But even the days that it's trending, like this here, look look at the pullbacks and yeah, you guys know that I like to buy pullbacks, but not this type of pullbacks. Not when I have to put a big stop, try to make little money. So not worth it for me. Okay. So Zoom, Slack, Microsoft's already in. What else do we use for work from home? Google. Ha, 1350. How come we haven't talked about Google lately? Google is about to, what is that line right there? 1425, let me double check. Nah, can be a, probably a yearly, no. Hmm, oops. So I got 1350, which is too far. I got 1467, uh, 1424, that's where we are, 
So 1435 is this, is this gap right here. Okay, you got players. 1435 to 1500. But, okay. yep, you can even buy at 1425. 1435, you add. So I like this. 1425, number one. 1437, add. Let me see if we have a level support. No, it's, it's 1380. I mean, I think we're, it has to be, it's, it has to be just, I mean, playing momentum. What we're playing with Facebook and all the other ones, right? Is that solid uptrend now, confirmed, pullback, held by the 20 MA, one, two, three, four days up into resistance right here into the prior high. So once we clear the prior high, if we see the volume confirmation, we should be able to take it to 1400, 1480, 1500. Okay, so 1425, G-O-G-L, 1425, 1435, 1500. And this can go tomorrow, by the way. So, what was the other one? Oh, Zoom can go tomorrow, right? Yeah. So we have PayPal, we got Zoom, we got Google, and then we have the whatever's been hot these past days. Business you know, 14, and 15 on this one, a little more aggressive. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's 1,400, so 1425. Yeah. I'll right. pay the extra nine. I'll pay the extra nine bucks. It's probably gonna be like two seconds after after they after they open. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. I like I like the, the the monthly. Monthly's good, and they have some bad news a couple of days ago, right? There was look. We we conf I mean we just coming back. We we just deleting the whole red bar, right there. So we got this one, a little bit of momentum to the upside, and hopefully we hit we we will hit two new highs. Google, and what else we have, guys? Because we almost out of time, right? I'm not sure. Twilio. T W L O. T W L O. Ah, oh my God! Look at that gap. You see another gap that doesn't doesn't close. Um, Twilio. The only way I know how to play this is over the highs. Unless you should have, you, you, you would have told me that 180 was gonna be support. I would have bought it there, but yeah, I didn't know that. So, no. Play momentum, momentum. What else? What, what are the, what are the, we got the Apple, we got the Amazon, Starbucks. I don't think we, Snap. did we do Apple? I don't think we did Apple. Huh, why is this one in my radar now? Space, down 6% on 152%. I don't think any of us is trading this anymore, right? No. They should do something like uh, Carnival, that if you own like a uh, Carnival share, you get the discount for the cruises. Like if you get a, a share of space, you should get to hang out with a Martian when they come or something like that, right? Space. Let's see, Apple. 14. Apple. Oh, nice. Perfect. Right there. Ready. Should be making new highs. Yep. I was thinking actually on shorting it till today. Cause look at the look at the look at the look at the pattern right here, right? We came 320, drop to 300. That's a good move. We came back green on a, and then we put the tail right here, and uh, I was gonna probably look at 310 and short it, but we don't have 310, and this is where my alarm is right here, 313.5. I think I posted today in the room. I was waiting for it to short. Never trigger. Thank God. So 320, yeah, 320, go long, 320. 
near highs and who knows, 320, 327, so Apple. Wow. 320, 327, T1, and then same, same calculus, right? Like 10, 15% should be 345. No, more than that, 350, 360. 50% is another 45 points, so it's 365. Yeah, just with 15%. Okay, what else? Roku, Luf, Space, AA, what's AA? F-I-S-V, J-D, oh, but J-D is China too. About some retailers. Uh, TJ Maxx. Target. Walmart, Costco. TGX, TGT. I think TGT went down today. Yes, I saw it. Uh, coming with earnings. Already out. 520. Oh, today? Yeah. Oh, that's why. Okay, that's why. That's why. I know I heard something about it. So, I don't know what to tell you guys here. We have a Double top right here? I don't know. No call. I'm looking here. Here's the way, guys. Either I see a pattern that I know, but this, is, this looks bullish, right? We have earnings today, and we have a big red bar. So until momentum doesn't confirm that the selling has stopped, I don't want to buy it, right? Then I come to the monthly what I see is a bullish setup already near the highs. So I'm like, okay. And then I look at the weekly chart and then I see a lower high right here, but I, I'm not into, I'll buy it at 110, right? Which at least I have some base right here, some formation prior to the break. But right here, I can say 115 and wait for the 20 MA. But this is like, I won't even I won't, I won't even watch it to be quite honest unless I put an alarm and with, whenever we had a 100 something I'll probably look at that and same as Walmart it's so boring uh, unless you own it for for long right right and, okay uh, anyways yeah. probably you got the even if you got the best entry like a 100 you're up 33 percent or 20 percent like and you get the whole rally it's nothing Home Depot I know it was like on um, that that's better you see home depot 130 points up at least so but i don't know how to trade that one lows came up with earnings or it's coming up with earnings what else the other one are tjx that's the mcdonald's mcd mcd One ninety. Yeah, yeah, that's the market. To be honest, to play that, to play that pattern, I play the market, which is pretty similar to the market. I just go with spy. I think okay. Michael. Yeah, I go buy the spy. And what's the other one? Wendy's. Shack. Oh, Shack. Shack hat. Shaq is in the middle of the alligator mouth in the monthly chart. So 60 over 62, probably. Yes, over 62, you can go 10%, 68. And then Last we take session, it from there. Said, uh, over 55 in the 60s. Still think that would work here? Over 55. Problem is that 55 got rejected, clearly, okay. right? So, so we hit we hit 55, 24, and it, they brought it down to 45. And that's a big drop. That's 20%, 16 yeah. percent. So that, that's, it, it doesn't look like much, but that's, that's a big drop, man. That's 15, 20% they're on the line. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know. How about the other one that uh, I, don't, I never traded this one, CMG. And it just goes up and up and up and up and up. Chipotle, uh, yeah. I gotta, put this one, I gotta put this one on my radar. Yeah, is it intraday? We did the NVIDIA. Yeah, and the options. I mean, wow. Okay. <laughs> Jump C. Oh, yes. Yes. Visa highs. Is this, this is a tough trade, too. 
I tried this one a couple times last year. I don't even remember. It check you out. It's just stupid. Look at the look at the look at the moves, right? Gaps up, gaps down, fills, gaps up, and how about uh, what's the other one? Cof? No. And Mastercard. Ma. Capital One. Ma. Ugh. For payments, it's better to play with the with the Finbis, right? PayPal and Square, if we think they're going to continue doing right. great. Okay. I don't know, traditionals. I was looking at now. What, what's now? Service now? Is that home? <laughs> Delta, Snap, ET, LVS, Casinos. Two month, month multiple five level gap up on earnings. Okay. This could be something. To 55, 50 to 55, that's 10%, 52, 55. Just, I don't know how it trades anymore. Uh, but we have volume on this one. Then they drop it, buy it again on volume. Green volume right here above average again. And low volume today so you could be making a platform here i don't love it but it wouldn't be too crazy to play from 50 to 58 which is the 200 ma if you're into casinos or you're into gambling <laughs> with casino stocks uh, win I think this was a better. Wow, it was it was thirty five bucks when, shit. Probably not even the price of the the whole real estate that they have in in Las Vegas, right? So when ninety, yeah, ninety one thirty. I think it is. We could probably play one of the casinos, guys. I mean, it's not that crazy because I like I like the formation. If we think, basically, they could be just lagging what what the market did, right? Remember that we did this, then we did this, and we hit the MA, and now look where we are. So probably just lagging, and this is a 10, 20 percent move that we can get in here. We time it correctly. That could be that could be money. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna put them both on my radar, just so just so you know. So I'll be looking at win and LVS. Okay. Yeah, win and LVS because I, I and I just saw them on. What I do is I have scans that look for whatever was having like action today, options, volume. Right. news and everything and when i start seeing like whenever I, I never talk about casinos like but i'm seeing right here on my scan and i see zizar lvs and i see win and then i'm like why were the casinos like most of them on the move right and they have liv which is live uh, nation right oh this is oh my god this is good one this is the um concerts venue but I don't know how the how the how the options are. But this is a good long. Okay, there's only monthlies here, so yeah, Let's... forty-eight to sixty-one. I like lift. Probably, yeah. Okay, so I'm seeing. Well, this is this is like the open economy, right? You're going back to the casino. You're going back to concerts or Caesar. Yeah. Look at look at wow. Caesar. Now Caesar is beautiful. Probably they have exposure into Macau. I don't know which one's the one in, in Macau. How about CRM? More research. CRM. Salesforce. Hmm. Not until we clear this up. So 183, I'm okay. Prior 183, could we could test 170. 
You can test 160. Uh, that was on big volume. You see, like three big volumes on the red. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah, I don't know about that one. EA. Oh yes, yes. I like this one. We hit new highs. No new highs. No. <laughs> <laughs> I fifty-two week highs. No highs for the year. Yeah, one twenty, one twenty, one eighty-one. EA. Over 111 to 115, 125. So we already hit that one, the first one, the 115 already, and 125 is next. Hmm. Wow, it failed. Yeah, well, over today's high, just for Momo. How about the other ones? Oh, take two reported today, right? Yeah, down, 139. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, look at that. Wow. So this could be a good watch for tomorrow, guys. Look at the pattern. I like it. This is TTWO. And we're going to leave all of these people late buyers trapped, which, oh my God, we got being 140. This could be a play. This could be a play. Yeah, the options are okay. Okay, keep keep this one for tomorrow. T T W O earnings. Are, are we still playing um, ATV ATVI? I don't have it. I don't have <laughs> it, but I'm watching seventy five. <laughs> Wake me up when they when they decide to move it again. <laughs> Gosh, it's just it's just a waste of mental capital. Starbucks, open economy, still the same line right there. It's been there for like two months now. So eighty, you want to be aggressive? You can buy here. You can buy it tomorrow, actually. Right. Not a problem. Oh, wait. I don't see the volume coming in or oh, wait, but yeah, over 80 and then 10%, probably 5%, 10%. I just, I just saw it right here on my scan. Same as Coke, same as I had Pepsi, but it went down. I like Coke over 47.5. This is interesting. Look at this one here. So 47.5. I think the old guy is not, drinking anymore huh mr <laughs> buffett could be could be shop is here skew caesar snap banks on EA, did did you what was the comment on ea just 120 or you just yeah no, yeah no i think we 125 we got right that okay. was that was the call we have over 111 to 115 125 okay. i'm just reading out the notes that we have right there so we hit the 115. It's just this these stocks, they 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 just move dirty. I mean, yeah, that's tough. Yeah. So I'm more interested in this pattern because a lot of people got trapped in that one. In take two, playing into the earnings. That's what I'm thinking. That oh my god, probably that's what I was thinking Nvidia. exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, no, because Nvidia is, is seen sellers. There's people selling up there, man. It's people selling, so probably it's gonna can they drop tomorrow? I don't know. Nvidia, look at that, <laughs> it doesn't give me any confidence to do anything with Nvidia. <laughs> okay, wow, X we covered XP. a lot. Yeah. yeah, look at the pattern, it's right there, up 4.23 percent today, above average volume. One, two, three, typical pattern, you buy the highs. Free market, 83.67, that could be a momentum play. Clear space all the way to 100. Yeah, I like XP. So the call is over, it's over 80, but it's already 83.70 after hours. So likely it's gonna be pre-market highs, right? Uh, 
and he has room. I think it's I think it's a good pattern. Look at the uh, when is when is when is earnings? Oh, it's out today. Oh, okay, that's why that's an earnings play. Eighty-three. So we 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 trading right here. Not bad, not bad. I like this. The move, health, earnings, was not too extended from 76 entry. I like it. Yep, XP, XP and T2. Oof. All right, Mario. We were done, think that's guys. a wrap. I think so. Because I can continue scanning till tomorrow, but I think it's it's enough. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, Thanks guys. For coming. Thank you. It's gonna get better, guys. We're gonna get out of this um, range sooner or later. Yeah. It's gonna get better. Just don't lose too much money. If you're losing a little bit of money, it's okay. Don't lose too much money. That's it. Uh, you know, always stay. Stay in the game. Yeah, and always stay like one or two trades away from your goal, right? Like, like what I told you guys yesterday. You can have one, two trades that you stop, you stop, you stop. Then you hit a good one. You back to break even. Then you get, hit another good one. Now you're into goal or, or near to goal, right? But they just don't do like at the open. You lose three times. You just down your whole weekly goal or whatever it is and then you just, it's going to be the whole week just working out and trying to try to make all the back i mean it doesn't make sense just try once and stop if you don't see it stop no big deal there's this place like this past uh week i always tell it, it doesn't have to be at the open like yesterday we hit uh i think it's facebook facebook what time like midday was the biggest ah. move then today disney move midday so we always have a move. Yesterday we we shorted the market at the close, big move. So just save your mental capital. You know, drink coffee, put MCT oil, whatever it is that you use, uh, and and it's good, man, because you cannot be tired. If you tired, right. yeah, right, yeah, whatever, yeah. I can I can send you my recipes too. Okay, guys, see you tomorrow. All right, thanks, Thank Mario. You. Appreciate it. Hey, no problem.